Hello and welcome to a brand new camera comparison video between the Realme 9 Pro Plus and the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G. So it's a bright and sunny day here in New Delhi. We are taking uh, the front facing video samples of uh, both the Samsung and Realme phones. This is the 1080p 30fps uh, videos uh, that you're seeing on your screens right now. The Samsung can shoot up to 4K 30fps videos. Uh, but the Realme is only restricted to 1080p 30fps videos from the front camera so uh, Samsung does uh, kind of have the advantage when it comes to that uh, otherwise uh, if I look at, if I compare the skin tones I think the Samsung is uh, Samsung's skin tone is looking slightly natural to me the Realme is looking a bit on the yellowish side uh, apart from that what do you think about the stabilization I think so both are doing a fairly decent job not the best but yeah good for the price no judders at least uh, and how does my audio sound how are the mics capturing my audio that is uh, let me know about that in the comments as well but apart from that I think so the front facing video quality of uh, both the smartphones is looking pretty neck and neck what do you think about the dynamic range I am standing right in front of the Sun I think so Samsung is doing a better job here again but yeah you be the judge you let me know which one uh, do you think so is doing a better job here the Samsung Galaxy A52s or the Realme 9 Pro Plus everything in the comments below and now let's go ahead with the rest of the comparison video the camera specs of both smartphones are on your screens right now you can pause to take a look now in terms of pricing the Galaxy A52s 5G definitely costs more than the Realme 9 Pro Plus but the main reason for this camera comparison is of course that both phones here are offering OIS in the mid-range price segment and it will also be interesting to see how does the Dimensity 920 chipset inside the 9 Pro Plus compares against the Snapdragon 778 inside the Galaxy A52s when it comes to the ISP. So let's go ahead but uh, before that if you're new to the channel then consider hitting that red subscribe button and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. Starting with the first photo of a building taken from the primary camera of both phones and uh, they have done a fabulous job. The output is crisp and detailed. In terms of color reproduction the tones are slightly boosted on the Realme. For instance the sky looks more natural in Samsung's photo but overall good job from both phones here nothing much to complain about. Coming to the second photo, again taken from the primary lens, standing right in front of the sun. At first glance, everything seems alright and to an extent in terms of color reproduction, both phones have done a solid job. However, zooming in on the subject and you can see the highlights are handled much better in Samsung's photo. For instance, see how the forehead is blown out in Realme's output. And even in terms of overall details, the Galaxy A52 has fared better here than the Realme 9 Pro Plus. That said, the same scene shot in portrait mode from the rear camera and the Realme 9 Pro Plus did manage to solve the problem with the details but highlights which you can see on the neck region and on the forehead region were again handled better by the Galaxy A52s. Moving on, in this HDR shot, both phones show excellent dynamic range, no doubt about it. That said, I'll again give the edge to the Galaxy A52s here for capturing a photo that looked more true to the source. In fact, I don't really mind the white balance disparity between both outputs here. That is, the Samsung's photo looks warm and the Realme's photo looks cool. It's the red of the shirt that seemed a bit washed out in Realme's output. Apart from this, the halo around the head caused by the sun in Samsung's photo might not be up to everyone's liking and it is okay if you prefer something that Realme has produced. Both look good, however, my personal preference does go to the Samsung here. Coming to the ultra-wide angle lenses, the first thing to notice here is the fact that Samsung offers a wider field of view in comparison to the Realme. Color reproduction is also good in both outputs, although I will admit the tones are on the boosted side from both the phones. In fact, contrary to the primary camera, when it comes to ultra-wide shots, Samsung's photos offer slightly more saturated tones than Realme's, but as I mentioned, this is just slightly. Additionally, while ultra-wide photos are nothing to write home about when it comes to the details because of the smaller sensors, upon zooming in, I did find out that Samsung does seem to get a more detailed output than the Realme if that matters to you. However, corner distortion was more in Samsung's output. 
Coming to the macro photos, once again, the Galaxy A52s shows its dominance with its 5 megapixel macro camera versus the 2 megapixel macro lens on the Realme 9 Pro Plus. While both phones are able to go pretty close to the subjects, it is the Galaxy A52s that produces more pleasing colors along with better details and depth of field. Now photos taken indoors, for example, this photo that you're seeing on your screens right now, Samsung's photo here might look a bit dull, but was closer to the source. Honestly, colors looked good on both phones and some folks might again prefer Realme's output here. But overall, I feel in this photo, Samsung has done a better job simply because of much natural color reproduction, better details, and of course, better dynamic range. Another indoor shot taken inside a mall and while standalone, Realme did seem to do a good job with its output. Side by side to the Galaxy A52s's output, uh, well, one can't ignore the camera's weakness when it comes to the dynamic range. Coming to shots taken at night from the rear camera, well, both phones benefit in getting decent results uh, thanks to the presence of OIS. Shots came out detailed from both phones overall. I mean, they did look slightly detailed in Samsung's photo, but overall, both phones were pretty much neck and neck. That said, I did notice corner noise in some of the photos taken from both smartphones, so uh, that was there as well. Apart from this, you might have noticed that Realme's output was brighter than that of Samsung's. In fact, my gripe here, and let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with me here, is that while Realme did produce the brighter output in most situations, Samsung on the other hand never tried to go overboard with the exposure and instead stuck to producing shots that looked more natural. Even if that meant coming out with a photo that looked slightly dull side by side to Realme's. So how do you guys prefer your night shots? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the selfies and both phones again boasted pretty neck and neck results. I mean, it was really hard to choose one over the other. But for the slightly better skin tones, I would like to go with the Samsung Galaxy A52s here. Similar story when it comes to portrait mode selfies also, both phones take shots with plenty of details in the output good dynamic range and a superb edge detection but admittedly the skin tones once again looked slightly better on the galaxy a52s now coming to the selfies taken in the night and this time around realme takes the lead from samsung here as the shots taken from the 9 pro plus look slightly sharper than the shots taken from the a52s although the dynamic range was a tad better in shots taken from the samsung now, Samsung does try to redeem itself in portrait selfies and to some extent it does also because portrait mode shots taken from the Galaxy A52s look very good. However, once again, it is Realme's output that shines overall. Coming to the video recording side of things and both phones feature OIS although that's only available while recording 1080p videos on the Realme. That said, in 4K videos as you can clearly see, not only Samsung uh, do a better job in producing natural colors but the contrast, dynamic range and especially the stabilization thanks to OIS in 4K looks better on the Galaxy A52s. Now the Realme does seem to do a better job recording 1080p videos uh, since colors look uh, more on par with Samsung's output and again in 1080p output color reproduction looked good on both smartphones however when it comes to the stabilization once again OIS on the Galaxy A52s does a better job of stabilizing the footage than the OIS on the Realme 9 Pro Plus. So with that, uh, we have reached the end of our camera comparison video between the Realme 9 Pro Plus and the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G. And after seeing the results, I will admit that the Galaxy A52s does seem to offer a better and a more reliable camera experience uh, thanks to the better ISP courtesy of the Snapdragon 778. But uh, you need to keep in mind that there's also a higher price to pay here if you decide to go with the Samsung. Uh, that said, the Realme 9 Pro Plus is hands down a solid contender in its own right and I feel it takes some really great photos uh, both in the day and night. In fact, uh, featuring the IMX 766 sensor for its primary camera with OIS, uh, that too at a sub 30,000 rupees price point. I think the Realme 9 Pro Plus is one of the best camera phones that you can buy at this price point. But uh, most importantly, after seeing all the samples, what do you guys think? Uh, did you find the images taken from the Realme 9 Pro Plus worth it for its price? Or do you feel it's better to invest a little extra and get the Galaxy A52s instead? 
let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and as always for all the latest in tech stay tuned to mr phone i'll catch you all in the very next one uh, thank you for watching Bye.